Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about machine learning on AWS. So AWS offers the broadest and deepest set of machine learning services supporting cloud infrastructure as well as putting machine learning in the hands of every developer, data scientist or any practitioner. So it, it provides us a various range of options. It is also helping more than hundreds and thousands of customers to accelerate their machine learning journey. So rather than developing the various machine learning case studies, so we can directly rely upon AWS. So AWS will, on behalf of us, will do the machine learning and we will just use their services. We will just provide the input and on the basis of that, it will do the research as well as it will provide the reviews also. So the today's topic in this machine learning, today we are going to discuss about text extract, that is text extract, or we can say is extract, that is one of the machine learning services provided by the AWS. So this text extract automatically, it extracts the text fields of interest and the tables when we scan the document so it categorizes them into text, field values, tables, and cells. And whatever the extracted data, we can just pass on to the Amazon augmented AI. And depending upon that, we can have some high confidence, confidence predictions return immediately to the client application. If it is some low confidence, then we can send it to the multiple people for the review. Then we can store the results in the S3 bucket as well as we can pass on to the client application. So this is how the whole structure is connected. So we need not to like uh, do our part of this Amazon augmented AI. So this extract will just extract the things for us and we can uh, get the text fields, values, tables and cells. So currently we can scan the documents in the form of uh, images a PDF also, but for that we have to save the documents in the S3 bucket. So we can also scan the forms, application forms, applications, any kind of applications, medical notes or anything. So everything can be filtered by using this extract. So what are the benefits over here? It extracts data quickly and accurately. No code or template is required to maintain it. And whenever we are talking about this extraction, so it automatically detects a document layout basically, and the key elements on the page, understand the various relationships, as well as all the embedded forms and tables. And we don't require any code or template to maintain this. So because uh, the models have already been trained on tens of millions of documents from the industries, including the invoices or the receipts, or the contract text document, uh, sales order, enrollment forms, application forms, lots of things are being included. So AWS is already having all those things. The machine has already been fed with all those documents. We In this, we have the lower document processing cost. So Amazon, uh, I think I charge around like uh, $1.5 per thousand pages. It's quite a low price. So it also provides you the OCR scanning and all, then structure data extraction at a very low cost. And you pay for whatever you're, you're scanning or depending upon the number of pages, or you can take a long-term contracts or you can take it upfront payments and all, you can do it. And it is very easily implemented for human reviews. If any sensitive data is there, whether you want to uh, filter it or you can send it to for the human judgment, so they can uh, make the predictions or make some audits based upon those predictions. So that's why this Amazon text extract is so much beneficial. Now uh, we will go to the hands-on. So let's go to the console over here. So I will just sign into my console. I'll use my root user.
and moreover this service is not available in all the regions so you'll find that in few regions it is not available so we have to make it sure even though if we are not in that particular region it will suggest us what are the other regions it is available so we can go to this you can see under the machine learning we have this amazon text fact so we'll go to this one and we can try this one you can see currently my region is mumbai over here on the top so it's available in the mumbai region so you can see by default one sample document is there so you can see over here whatever you click it's being highlighted also on the right side so this is the raw text that is being uh, extracted by this service even you can see the form view we can download the results also either in the form of raw text or we can have it in the form tables or we can just make it for human review for that we have to put our document in the s3 bucket and then we can fetch it from there and then we can do the analysis part so why i'm showing this because uh, we already started the s3 bucket uh, concept so later on in the stages in the videos i will be showing like how we can put our documents that we want to analyze in the s3 bucket then through the CLI, AWS CLI, we will try to extract all the content from that particular document that is being stored in the S3 bucket. So for today, I will just upload one sample document over here. So I will just upload Let's make start with some So you can see over here. So this is one image file. So you can see over here, uh, the maximum pages that are smaller than five MB and 11 pages on the free one. And uh, we can also have the formats JPEG, PNG and PDF. But uh, for the PDF versions and all, we have to upload in the S3 bucket. So JPG and PNG documents submitted to the demo will not be stored. So that is just for the viewing purpose. It is just extracting the content and it's showing to us. So you can see over here, I've uploaded one picture over here. So you can see the raw text over here. It's being highlighted in the picture also. So forms can just show you the important uh, key forms that are being required. If you check in the form of table, you can see we are having the data like this. Now uh, talking about this download over here, you can see we have the capture.zip file if i open this file over here let me extract it so in this one it gives you all the options over here the first thing uh, that is in the json json format that we have in the key values so if i open this one so you can see the key values being found by this service is the flight number and the flight from where it is being uh, departure so that are the key values. And if you check the raw text, it is the all, all the content over here. Then if you check the table.csv file, the comma separated values. So you can see all the values are there separated by commas. So this is how uh, it provides the different, different formats over here. Even we can check with the JSON over here. We can just uh, open with some, with a notepad. So you can see this is a JSON file that is being created. So these are the files that you, you will be getting on clicking the download. So let's upload some more over here. Let's say if I'm uploading this picture of a car, so you can see it will automatically analyze. So you can see the raw text is the car number over here. And forms, there is nothing. So depending upon the type of upload, it will show you the results. Tables, nothing is there. So this is how it works. Let me upload some more over here. Let's say if I'm putting some database table over here. So this is a, a picture of a database table. You can see the results over here. In the form of forms, you can see the results and messages, tables, you can get all the employee details and all those things. 
it's quite easy. Like if you have a scan documents and all you want to quickly convert into a, some Excel files or you want to convert into some, uh, you want to store in the database and also we can directly use this files from this extract. So you can see the key values over here. It's not showing any value because it's a first column because there was a results and image. So we have to, uh, even when we are uh, inputting our image file, make it sure it is in a proper format. So you can see on the top, the results and images are coming. So if I crop this one a little bit, let's say, then tables, I will just crop it a little bit. So I will upload again. Now you can see the there's no forms, but tables are proper over here. Then we can download it again. And we can see our key values. It's not picking up any key value. We're showing you the, all the table details over here. And directly we can export it to or import whatever we want to do, we can do it easily. So in the next session, we will talk about uh, some more AWS services under machine learning. So please do like, subscribe my channel. So in the next video, we will be talking about AWS Amazon recognition, how we are going to use this. So slowly, slowly, we will try to integrate all this with the S3 storage and then we will try to write some programs also in the up upcoming videos, how we can implement those services. Uh, and as well as we will work on the CLI also. So how to get the things done from the CLI. Thanks for watching.